From the 14th of October at the Star Space in Hackneywick, East London, the doors will be opening to Ada Wilde's show, Save Yourself. Now, I wanted to use this as a platform to talk about the show and all the artists involved, but I also wanted to use it as a chance to talk about a much wider issue that the area is currently facing. My name's Doug, you're watching Fifth Wall TV. Save Yourselves is a group show built up of artists that really reflect the true nature of Hackney Wick. Much like all these creative spaces, Hackney Wick was built up from the foundation of fallen industry. So whether it was manufacturing, warehouse spaces, uh, as that industry became too expensive or it was outsourced, then you were just left with these big old abandoned buildings that nobody else wanted to touch. And of course, this is gold dust for the creatives. For the best part of 20 years, the area has slowly been building up to create what, according to Wikipedia at least, is Europe's largest artistic community. Now, the problem with large artistic communities is they inevitably draw attention and attraction from those guys with money, the developers. Since the 2012 Olympics, East London just hasn't been the same, but nowhere has felt it quite as hard as Hackney Wick. Its direct proximity to the Olympic Stadium and what is now Westfield mean that it is an absolute goldmine for development. As soon as you step off the train at Hackney Wick, you get a taste of what's to come. It's wall-to-wall -wall construction sites, cranes, diggers, and you really get a sense that this is an area undergoing radical transformation. All this development and all this investment into infrastructure unfortunately just really mean one thing to the people that live here, price inflation. It's becoming increasingly, increasingly hard for young and emerging artists or creatives to find a space to exist down here. And this demand unfortunately strains what becomes or what has been known as a really grassroots and inclusive community space. Of course this notion of culture and commerce and movement isn't new, it's happened in London over decades, whether it was Kings Road, Carnaby Street, Camden, Shoreditch, and of course this is just another element of that. But the problem is, now the areas are becoming so far out, London's really in danger of altogether losing its edge. Take a look at London's nightlife. We've had 50% of late night venues close in the last eight years. But of course, at the same time, we have now established a 24 hour tube system. So it's great that we've got 24 hour tubes, but we just have nowhere to go. The infamous and world renowned fabric has now faced permanent closure. This is what people have come here for decades to experience. And if we lose that, we're in danger of losing one of the strongest elements that pulls those creatives into the city. Save Yourselves feels like the kind of closing of a chapter in the big story of Hackney Wick. I don't think there's going to be a chance again to experience a group show featuring all these major players that have helped shape and be shaped by one of London's most creative and interesting spaces. And of course, when you're in the area, take a bit of time and go check it out for yourself. And hopefully you'll get a sense of where the area has been and what lies in store for the future. I've been Doug for Fifth Wall TV. Till next time.